Ladies and gentlemen, I'm recording this live on Instagram. That seems to be my new formula right now. Um, YouTube family, you'll probably see me posting a lot of these streams uh, subsequently to YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, um, this was initially on Instagram just to make sense of the streaming, but what it do, what it is, I'm going on my walk. It's day two of my workout. Um, shout out to all of y'all. Dr. Please Clean Air in a building, aka the Peace Dealer. Thank you, She Will 3000. Shout out to you, Dom. Shout out to everyone joining. I have a very amazing technique okay that i just downloaded right now and if you do this with me we're gonna do this live together if you do this with me super super cuts oh don't be going to super cuts if you black no i'm just joking <laughs> um yeah so shout out to tower for bros um basically if if this live is a synchronicity for you, whether it is or not, I would get super excited because this is a technique that you are going to see instant results with. And hopefully it will um, inspire you to um, let go of the need for results. Yeah, I went to Supercuts and I just told them to cut it all off because they gave me a hairline that was up here. No, I'm just joking. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. <laughs> uh, that happened to me before, though, in high school, but I learned my lesson since then. Anyway, other than that, so basically, um, this technique is ideal to do in airy season because we are all currently evolving our understanding of who we are. Um, I want you to comment a fire sign emoji for those of you watching live here on Instagram. If just within the past 24 hours, you came into a realization, understanding, or, and or download of who you are. It just came to you, which is a cool thing about these transits. You, you're going to interface with them in a way that it applies to everyone and then individually expresses itself through you. Wow, magic monkey. That's amazing. Okay. I don't consider that a synchronicity. I just like pointing out words I like that I see. Gemini Sun. So for those of you who commented the fireside emoji, this is beautiful because in order for, and even if you didn't, in order for this technique to work, all you have to do is know and stand firm in who you are. Even if you're not sure what that is yet, which is totally fine, you have to still at least be confident in who you believe you are because we're always constantly changing. So as we're in the middle of evolution, it's okay if certain aspects you're outgrowing. So if you know who you are, you need to get super fucking excited right now because excitement is the passion and fuel that will actually push and drive forward this technique. This technique is so ridiculously simple. You may, some of you may realize you already do a version of this already. Okay. This is not witchcraft. This is not any black or dark magic. This is you doing at will. Monkey King. Yeah. This is you doing at will what you're already doing right now. So if you didn't do this technique, your thoughts, your feelings, with your subconscious are firing off synapses in your brain so that you can perpetuate the narrative and story that you're telling. All this technique is doing is it's resetting that and it is reconstituting your focus so that you can rewire your brain. Many of you have already done this, so you, you don't have to do this process. This, if anything, is just gonna be more maintenance. So. I want you to get super excited because this technique 
does a lot, okay? It reinforces your self-concept. So for those of you who uh, want to manifest what it is in your life that you want, it's going to speed this up, all right? I will save this live. And then also, for those of you who want to see elements of your life reach what you want to manifest, it's going to do this by anchoring with you your divine counterpart. Now, this technique will manifest your divine counterpart in your life, even if you're currently next to them. It's going to bring this facet of them out fully because you're aligning more with yourself fully. This is not a technique that manipulates another person. This technique fully focuses your energy on you. And this is what's going to single-handedly take your power back, okay? I'm going to feature an affirmation that I'm going to share that uh, can work with dating. It can get you any man or woman that you want. It's so ridiculously simple. And when you learn the principle behind it, you can apply it to anything, okay? Uh, so with that being said, yeah, Sun Wukong, no, no, that's the Japanese. So with that being said, okay, I also want to maintain that this divine counterpartship is not necessarily strictly romantic, if romantic at all. It's directly tied to you and your life purpose. So your manifestation of this divine counterpart isn't some romantic union with your twin flame. You are energy, okay? You represent a whole being that is a part of another whole. Not so much a theory, but the aspect of a counterpart of your soul, which complements you in the opposite realm, creating this whole, where you're both whole in any selves, but then both of you perfectly complement each other. Now, understanding yourself as beyond a human vessel because you're a frequency, when you do this technique, every single facet of life, jobs, friendships, romantic opportunities and partners, experiences etc see that infinity right there you are manifesting the limitless potential of everything that is a divine counterpart to you converging and meeting you and so you're not letting it come to you you're not going to it you with this technique are maintaining an active focused force field so that you can bring both of these polarities you and it together this is why this is going to be so fucking fun because once i teach you this technique you can apply this technique towards anything you do you can take this simple technique and if you're an artist you can you can do it while you're making music if you're cooking you can pop on this technique while you're cooking the basis for how this technique works especially during airy season which if you do this with me from now to the full moon i'm going to maintain this technique until the full moon and then release it and then every new moon i'm just going to do it again for two weeks you can do this technique once or you can maintain it it's your technique however you want to do it you can take what i taught you completely transform it change it and make it your own i'm just going to share the principles behind how this works once you know that you can do whatever you want with it you can decide if you're fighting someone to use this technique like it's going to bring you back to this reset space so that you can maintain this and the reason why you only have to do it once once you do it once and you set that intention you can let it go but if you find yourself doubting and leaving that space just maintain the technique again and like riding a bicycle you'll go straight this technique is like riding a bike okay so the reason why it works is you're maintaining it with your focus and you're aligning it with the actions you're doing so with every action you're doing you are of course aligning this originality to bring more of it out so are you ready you ready this is the technique okay this technique is a union of hearts all right what you're gonna do right now is go into your heart space or your heart chakra if you want to do this in your third eye if you want to do this in your cojones and groins you can do it wherever i'm gonna do my heart space 
You can close your eyes. You can keep your eyes open, all right? So in your heart space, I want you to summon yourself, your higher self, you, whatever your avatar or idea of who you are is, okay? I want you to call up the version of yourself you are evolving into, all right? Whether that's with the affirmation or you just see it, you feel it, there's a certain signature here. Whatever works for you, feeling works for more people, visualization works for other people, and then it is what it is. This is gonna allow you to change the story and it's going to remove the block. Some of you are blocked in manifesting your partner because you see synchronicities, but then you literally tell the universe the opposite. You're so attached to the 3D. So you see synchronicities or you see that there's something there, but then you go tell the universe, oh, they're fucking playing with me or, oh, they're not responding to me. Oh, I'm putting in this work and it's not working. Well, what do you think you're gonna create? You have to have the wherewithal to look beyond your 3D circumstances because you're the creator. And that's hard for a lot of people to do. I've struggled with it my whole life because we get so caught up. We were trained to take this 3D external environment so seriously by the ways we were taught to inductively and deductively reason that you forget that spirit is limitless. And all you have to do is change the story and the story will change. You're that fucking powerful. Serious. So you are now envisioning your greatest self, but be very careful about that because you don't want to necessarily make it seem that you are separate from your greatest self. Your greatest self isn't someone that you aspire to be. Your greatest self isn't someone that you have to work so hard to be. You are your greatest self. You're just aligning with that version. Whether you're 365 pounds with horrible metabolism and you're obese with diabetes or you're in the most fit shape in your life, you're your greatest self. Your greatest self can lose all that weight and do whatever it is you want. It's not, you, you have to get out of the lie that like you when you're this or your parents might have kind of accidentally trained you to believe oh well if you get good grades then i'll like you or if you do this this you were you were lied to with conditional love god loves you unconditionally because of who you truly are and every time you get out of that you're not being yourself that's the only sin okay so because if you're not who god created you to be then you're not yourself it is a sin to not be yourself and if it's a sin to not be yourself that means you're perfect that means you're fucking perfect, okay? I'm just saying that right now because you've been lied to, to feel like, oh, you're, you're inherently evil, you make mistakes. No, you are inherently a child of God. So like as a creator, as a God, when you come back into the state of who you are, this greatest self lives in you, just like Manaprana said. So I want you to see your sexy ass self. I want you to just admire how amazing you are, okay? I want you to just admire everything that you've always loved about yourself. And don't fucking lie to yourself. You know you're fucking amazing. You know you're fucking, I don't care if you're depressed right now. I don't care if you're feeling down on yourself. Tell that motherfucker to shut the fuck up and remind yourself why you're the fucking best. Okay, it doesn't even have to be a list of things. You could be patient. You really genuinely could be someone who people can actually talk to. You, like just, if you have to start with just one right now, start with that. Because these dark forces are not gonna win this war over your soul. So you give away the birthright of your own belief and love for yourself. If you do not love yourself, then the opportunities that are for you, you will not even allow to come bless you. Do you feel me? If you do not even love yourself, and, and, and loving yourself doesn't have to be in a narcissistic way, and loving yourself doesn't have to be in this love and light way where it's like, I love myself. No, you have to be really honest with yourself. You have gifts, motherfucker. You're so fucking gifted. The fact that you're alive means you have several gifts. So start with one. I know if you're a Leo or if you got dominant fire, you know this is not hard for you. You're like, peace dealer, I know I'm the shit. What are you talking about? I don't have no problem there. Yes, boo boo, thank you. Yes, kings and queens, we see you. Light the way forward for us. Light the way forward for us, okay? So bask in that shit. And it doesn't have to be in an egotistical way 
really give yourself props. Look at yourself with admiration like, wow, like I've come a long way. This is the most important part of this, okay? So once you have, and take your time, there's no rush to do this. Once you actually see this facet in your heart holding space, I want you to now see the ultimate lifestyle, the perfect life, or the life that that person is living, okay? What is the life that you're living? I'm not talking about what you want to do but can't do. What are you doing where you don't need to work for money and you're living the life you want to live? Me, I'm traveling the world, making dope content, meeting dope people, and I'm having fun. And yeah, that sounds vague a bit for now, but I could just add to it as I grow. The simpler, the better, but if you wanna get complex, you can, okay? The affirmation we're going here with is, I am perfect. I am living the perfect life with my perfect partner, okay? Uh, with my perfect counterpart, I'm the ultimate, I'm living the ultimate life with my ultimate counterpart, I'm divine, I'm living the divine life with my divine counterpart. There's you, there's the life you share, and then there's the partner. So what we're gonna do with this is we're going to bridge and unite this in your heart because some of you have given your power away and you feel like you have to do any, listen to me, you feel like you have to do anything, whether you're a man or a woman, to get with someone. Men, you don't like, Men naturally make the first move. I have nothing wrong with making the first move, but actually a lot of what, personally as a projector, a lot of what got in my way is I was trying to make the first move Mars and Aries style, and it would turn women off because I rush things, I try and do things too fast. But once I started doing this, women started hitting me up. I mean, they've always been hitting me up, but like I was in a position to allow myself the opportunity to make that move instead of force it, okay? And woman, you'll be in a position to make a move or naturally just attract. Because what's happening here is you and that other person, neither of you are making the first move. The first move is being made within. So once that move is made mutually, you're both going to guide your way to each other. Radical concept. Because you may have been lied to to feel that making it happen means you have to force it. You're not forcing or controlling, you're willing it. And you're putting yourself in the reminder that it's already done. So let me actually explain this. Now that you have seen and acknowledged the life that you're living, desperation blocks manifestation. Now that you are seeing the life that you're living and you're more in a state of allowing because you already know that you're worthy of love, you're worthy of what you want. After all, you remember everything about yourself that you love about yourself, which is very important. These are things that as you are reflecting subconsciously, as everyone else is you pushed out and I'm you pushed out, I'm going to see this myself, whether I'm going against it, which is a form of it, or aligning with it. Cool. Because it's not about controlling other people. It's about maintaining your own focus. Now, here's where the magic comes in. Okay, don't get mad when we call you crusty. Hey, sometimes I'm dusty, crusty. It is what it is. It's a choice. It's a choice. Earth, air, my dusty lord. It is what it is. I could be, I could be smooth though. If I, I gotta, I gotta get into my Venus. So other than that, y'all. Okay. Worthy, worthy, worthy. I am worthy is another great uh, affirmation, especially going into Taurus season with Venus and Taurus. So this is where we get good. It's very important you get that first part there. If you do it well enough, you feel like you don't even need anything else. And that's where you want to be. Because you don't. There's nothing you need. There's, not, there's nothing you need that's not already within you. Okay? So, here's the deal. Now, now, in order to do this next part, this is why you have to know who you are. Now, I want you to see in your mind's eye, in your heart, the archetype an embodiment of your counterpart. This doesn't have to be a physical human being. This could be a concept, an image. Because you know who you are, you know what your opposite complement is. Okay, for example, I represent the darkness and I attract nothing but fire. Like a lot of the prominent connections that I attract are usually Airy, Sag, Leo, earth signs with fire, water signs with fire, 
air signs with fire or firehouses because I've learned that given what I represent, I'm always attracting light counterparts. Even others who might be dark, they have some kind of counterpart there. Okay, some of you might be the opposite. It doesn't have to be as simple as light and dark. Um, masculine, feminine, you'll know because it's based on, and you can only understand this. So the reason why this works for me is once I understood who I was, my twin flame showed up like that. I don't like to say my twin flame because the twin flame is something you are, but for the sake of idi idiomatic languaging, I'm just going to say that, okay? So with that being said, I want you to see that image, all right? Here's the deal. Your divine counterpart is your mirror. It's, this will work even better if you've had synchronicities mirroring someone. For example, when I was talking about the person who I have this twin flame connection with, it's not necessary. like, there's different women who I have twin flame connections with who I have mirrored. Like, I've seen synchronicities. Let me give you an example. I was at a funeral. Remember that funeral I was at that I live streamed? Shout out to Miko. Okay, my divine counterpart. At that same time, while that was happening, she was across country. So it was nighttime there while it was day over here. And while I was at a funeral, she was at a baby shower, okay? I was at a funeral burying a woman, she was at a baby shower, and it was a baby girl being born. That's textbook mirroring. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So I know that's the universe saying, hey, you and this woman fucking mirror each other. So that's not for me to now chase her and be like, you're my twin flame, you're my twin flame, see, see, see. If anything, that'll just push her away. But you have to look at these signs because even though I have seen that, this can also be a bird before land. It's not up for me to attach to her. Oh, she's the one. She can merely represent that archetype to let me know I'm in the right direction. The key thing here is I'm not attached. So if I don't get with her, I'm not sad because I saw that synchronicity. I know I'm headed in the right direction. It is wild. And once you do this technique, you're going to see signs instantly. Like this is go because you're focused now on this, this is gonna hyper accelerate things instantly, even if you don't see movement, because this is how it works. Your divine counterpart and you mirror each other. So while you're doing this, unconsciously this is what they're doing this is why you don't have to chase anyone everything that is you and meant for you will always find its way to you so what you're doing and you're already whole there's nothing to chase so what you're doing with this once you now have in your heart your image their being and then the life you live and then you can even think of the life that they live and how it complements You've now, you're now ready to connect. So, this is what we're gonna do. Your figurative symbolic image of them summons a facet of their soul into your art. This doesn't have to be an actual person, but if you think of an actual person, some people hold the space. Like before I recognized this one la lady that I have this connection with, there were a couple other ladies before. One was a Sagittarius who I also saw amazing signs with. I'm talking about mind blowing signs. And she taught me not to be, I mean, not in person, but just dealing with their higher selves. Cause I romance the higher self and the soul. I cut directly to the soul. When you deal with people and they have their critical mind, their soul and subconscious could feel totally different because it doesn't have eyes and ears. It just takes things purely while the mind ruminates on it, which can change at any time. So. It taught me not to be so attached because the essence of what I'm connecting with exists in every woman. So she can show up in any way. See that? She just showed me a heart right now. Is that what happened? Who knows? That's what I decided to see it as. I'm the creator of my reality. And so I'm creating more of this wave. Some are legit synchronicities. Others you can create like that. Shout out to Star Wars. Okay, it's me. So with that being said, see, ECH mom, the signs are coming through. And it's not in a way, it's not like in a fake spiritual sign sense where I'm victim to it. Like, what does it mean? I'm actively creating the meaning because I'm a creator. Okay, cool. Now that being said, all right, 
the reason why this is important is as I do this, if opportunities open up that fulfill a lot of what is happy to me, I'm not going to be like, that's not the exact person. Like if another woman shows up and I have the same feeling and I feel like we're counterparts, I'm not going to be like, no, it's supposed to be that one woman because my twin flame or this counterpart is an energy. It's a frequency. It's not just the person. I'm not just the person. And my frequency can show up in other people who are alike and resonate with me because we're not separate. You feel me? All right, here we go. So now that you have this summon facet of your counterpart who represents in every sense, jobs, friendships, romantic unions, this symbolism of your counterpart, you want to get super excited. What we're going to do is we're going to give an offering. Okay. You're going to give and offer this being something from you. What is it that you would offer this counterpart? Now, I'm going to give you a cheat code, okay? This cheat code here works. The gods love it. It's called the little death, okay? So step one, you want to envision your, your, yourself, who you truly are within your heart, your true authentic self. You want to admire everything about yourself you genuinely like about yourself. And you want to really imagine the lifestyle that this person's living. I will save this live, okay? And so after you do that, you want to see what compliment of yourself that is. And if you don't know who you are or what you are, it's going to be hard to know what compliments you. Once you know who you are, you start recognizing your counterparts in so many different things and people. Okay, cool. That being said, all right. Here is what I re recommend as a baseline you offer. So you can stack anything on top of that. Like I offer you love, I'll offer you happiness, but what you want to offer them is orgasms. I am offering you the ultimate orgasm, baby. But you don't have to say it like that. I'm offering you the ultimate orgasm. You want to actually feel and intend, make the intention like I will give you an orgasm. It's different when you're like, I think I'm gonna give this person an orgasm or should I give this person or versus I will make you come. Like I will give you an orgasm. And once you have that will charged, that's the key. The will to actually decide on it, okay? Orgasm is the best payment because orgasm is the truest thing to this little death. It's something that's universal. Any god, goddess will actually appreciate it. And it's something that energizes and charges the body, okay? So, in this offering of the orgasm, here is the actual technique. If you are the masculine, whether you're a woman or a man, okay? If you're the masculine, you want to project energy from your dick region. And if you're a lady, your energetic dick into their vagina. And then if you're, a, and then you want to see the energy circulating up from their heart to your heart. And that's the cycle. If you're a woman, you want to beam from your heart to their heart and then feel or envision it coming from their dick into your vagina okay and that's the cycle does this have to be sexual no you want to think it is more energetic if you make it sexual the scorpio principle of that will intensify it but you cannot the danger here is don't get attached don't get so horny that you're attached to it and you start desiring it you can't desire something that's already yours us doing this in the heart means it exists within you. So you're aligning reality in every timeline to converge into this one where you're both circulating the ultimate orgasm between each other. It is that simple, guys. And now, this circulation, you can attach a symbol to it. I'm going to attach an infinity symbol. You can attach a rainbow. The infinity symbol for me will represent, ooh, an infinity car just drove past when I said that. 
All right, that's gonna be my symbol. The infinity symbol is gonna represent the pinnacle of engagement and also forever. It's gonna represent that this connection is forever. So with that being said, okay, after you do this part, what I want you to do is feel this energy envelop your entire body, okay? And then feel the energy of this envelop the entire planet. You'll literally feel your awareness expand. And then you're gonna wanna feel this expand to the entire universe. Woo! There we go. And then once you do that, you can keep expanding as much as you wanna go, but I want you to now offer this huge ball of energy, pause, to your higher selves, or to your higher self, but rather to the higher being. You can offer it to their higher self, to both of them, release it, release it, and there we go, baby. Congratulations, you did it. Now all you have to do is maintain that symbol. I'm gonna just see the infinity symbol on my heart and that'll just return me to that state where my counterpart and I are circulating orgasms with each other, okay? This is going to hit your divine counterpart and they're going to associate an orgasmic feeling with you. Swear to God. Swear, I don't care if they told you they want nothing to do with you. They're going to start changing their mind. Now, here's the key to make this work. The reason why this works is you're going from a needy, I want to be with you. Can I have you chasing to taking your power back and being like, I'm going to give you an orgasm. Like I'm giving the choice to take you to the other side and lay that ass out. You're not begging for it. You're standing in firm in your own. Why wouldn't they want to come to you? Why wouldn't they be attracted to you, even if unconsciously? Because you're not putting that energy out there where you're chasing them. You're standing firm in the reality that's already in your heart. This is going to generate, just with that focus, the connection. And so you can let go of that. After this, you want to stop stalking them. You want to stop trying to chase them. You want to stop trying to see what they're doing. If you almost blank these influences out your mind, you don't need to do that because they already exist in your heart. If you try and cheat yourself, you're going to be going wishy-washy. If you're reacting to what's happening in the 3D because you see them with somebody or you see something in a job that doesn't necessarily go the way you want, you're giving too much power away. Return the power back inside. Okay, my bad, I just got up earlier. I, I, I didn't even like jump in the shower. I just went out to walk, I'm gonna shower for this. But yeah, this is really, 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 really potent. And the way to make this work now is take this feeling or thought or symbol and before you do anything, do it in that state. Like I'm walking and talking to you in this state. So now the more I do things that are original to me, the more I empower this connection that already exists within me. And I open my heart to invite anything that's a counterpart to me so that we can make our way to each other. I'm not looking for it. I'm not waiting for it. It already exists within me. If I ever get detached or discouraged, I just remember, oh, I already got it. I'm not worried about how long it'll take. I mean, I already see synchronicities as soon as we started this. So that synchronicities means you're on the right direction and you're in that reality. You just have to keep going, okay? And so this takes all your power back and centers it around you living your life because you're not going to connect with this energy trying to look for it. It's gonna be while you're living your best life. And so that's the most simplistic way to now manifest your greatest being and connect it with someone else's greatest self so that both of you can live the greatest together. It's literally that simple, okay? Be okay with detaching from 
ego identifications of what and who you think this is because your higher self might elevate you to people and things that are even better for you. Or it could be the exact same person or situation. All that matters is you're not attached anymore because you have it in your heart. So for those of you who accept that, this is gonna be a piece of cake. It, some of you may struggle with this because you truly don't believe you got the power like that. So you'll think that this is just some cheap mental exercise, but you're telling yourself that all you can do are cheap mental exercises because you don't believe you actually have the power to decide like that. I used to be skeptical like that until I realized that was what was blocking me from everything myself. I was blocking myself from everything I wanted just with that mindset, okay? You can manifest more even if you're already with them. Now, in terms of now semen retention or sex retention, um, I had sex the other day. It was amazing. Uh, it's giving out them orgasms like I was Oprah. You get an orgasm. I mean, it was just for one person, but, but because of that, because I charged my body with the sexual act, I'm on a strict no fat. I'm not necessarily the only the next time I like release my sea is gonna be during sex. So I'm riding off this wave of the previous time I did it and it's strengthening my sexual energy. There's two or more methods. I'm gonna reveal two. The semen retention method or the sex retention where you go celibate or you just it's not like you don't have sex. Yeah, yo, because my the criticism I got is that I move too fast. Like, I don't be way, I don't be doing foreplay as much as I could. I just Mars and Aries that shit. Boom, 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 boom. But now my Mars has progressed in Taurus, boy. I was moving slow in that Yoni. I was moving slow in that Yoni. That shit changed everything. It is true. You should go. So that shit changed everything, boy. Woo! I had no idea. It is cool to go slow. I had more control and rhythm. Your boy didn't come quick. Like usual, I had more seconds in the tank. I was like, wow, I could last for 15 minutes? This girl's body is shaking. This is crazy. I felt like I had superpowers. Anyway, other than that, you ever watch Demon Slayer where they do the total concentration breathing? That was me, Demon Slayer that pussy. I was like, <sighs> <laughs> Dick breathing <laughs> Style 7 <laughs> My bad <clears throat> So yeah If you do the retention method You'll save and strengthen your energy And the more you retain that desire The more it'll strengthen your intent Or you can do the fat method If you do the touch yourself method you can charge that intent so that once you're at the point of orgasm, you think about that symbol and you release it. And that will also strengthen it. Or you can do a combination of both where you store it, store it, store it, release it. Store it, store it, store it, release it. I'm riding on the high from this last session. So I'm just going to build it up so I can supercharge and release it until I'm in the next coochie. All right, the coochie of my divine partner. <laughs> Which is a bit of a binding vow. <laughs> but yeah, it just makes me a lot more focused. Um, which will help me with my Gemini mind. And yeah, other than that, um, I mean, yeah. I hope this technique blesses you. Once again, the whole point of this is that you'll, you're going to shift from a state of neediness to a state of I already got it. And that's a powerful state. And you're bridging the counterpart to have this sense. The best thing, it's the best, it's, it's honestly the best next thing to being with them. You're, they exist within you without you having to actually be with them. So if you're single, if this actually works a lot if you're single too, it can open up so much more, you know, opportunity. If you just want to be single, this will still work. So the more you focus on the time that you've waited, the more longer you'll wait 
universe really feeling and knowing that you're experiencing this right now, okay? Even if you have to trick your brain and just keep saying that. So for those of you who want to say an affirmation, you could be like, I'm living the ultimate life with my ultimate partner. Uh, I say I'm living the ultimate life with my ultimate wife, right? But you could, you could say any rendition or version of this and that will maintain that symbolism. Now you can carry this out to the full moon. You could do this every day. You could just do this once. It's up to you. Before I like do anything heartfelt or that I'm passionate about, I'm gonna run this. And so this is gonna strengthen that too. So I hope you enjoyed this technique. Y'all stay blessed as always. All right. Feel free to comment below testimonials and any kind of results you've gotten with this. But the whole purpose of this is you don't just get one result, you're constantly getting results. Every moment is a result and in alignment of this, you'll learn how to see more and more and more of them. All right, I wish and intend for all of you to have the most amazing ultimate orgasms ever over and over with the ones you love. You stay blessed. Until next time, be your best. Godspeed.